Welcome back. In this video, you will talk about the symptoms and the treatment of dengue fever. The symptoms normally start four to six days after a mosquito bite, and it lasts anywhere around 10 days. We expect to see a sudden high fever, which can be lethal sometimes, especially if the patient had dengue fever before. And this occurs because their bodies have generated antibodies from the previous attack, which now elicits a much stronger response. Two to five days after the start of fever, we expect to see some skin symptoms and skin rash. The virus itself that causes dengue fever specifically lowers the platelets. So we also expect to see petechia and easy bleeding in the gums. We also see severe headache, especially around and behind the eyes. Arthralgia and muscle pain is also common. And of course, just like with most viral infections, we see fatigue, nausea, and sometimes vomiting. These symptoms can be mild and sometimes even confused with common cold, especially if there was no rash. While patients who have had the infection before are struck with a lot severer symptoms. Some rare complications that we might see in dengue fever include enlarged liver, hemodynamic instability, and massive bleeding. As you can see, these complications are significantly more serious than the symptoms, but they're also significantly rarer. Dengue shock syndrome is basically having dengue virus that resulted in severe bleeding, then shock, and finally death. We see this mainly in immunocompromised patients or of course patients who have had the infection beforehand. However, this is extremely rare. The treatment for dengue fever is focused on controlling the symptoms while the disease runs its course. To control the pain, we use simple paracetamol, which is more than enough. Just remember, whatever you do, do not give the patient aspirin to control the pain, because aspirin causes easy bleeding and these patients are already more susceptible to easy bleeding. Aspirin is also an antiplatelet medication and the patient is already having a problem with low platelets. You should also avoid giving the patient platelet infusion. Advices for the patient, simply drink a lot of fluid, do not do any intense exercises, take paracetamol, and see the doctor if the fever lasted more than 24 hours. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.